Vesicles are tiny membrane-bound structures used to transport a wide range of chemical substances within a cell from one organelle to another, but they're also used to import and export chemicals into and out of cells. Vesicular transport is an active transport process that requires the cell to spend energy in the form of ATP. One type of vesicular transport is endocytosis in which large quantities of chemical substances are transported into a cell. The prefix endo means within or internal. When a large number of solutes within the ECF need to be transported into a cell, a region of the cell membrane will indent or invaginate, meaning it will sink down a little bit. And as the chemicals begin to accumulate, the membrane will wrap around the chemicals and a small piece of the membrane will pinch off, form a vesicle, and carry the solutes into the cytoplasm. A second type of vesicular transport is exocytosis, which is the opposite of endocytosis, where chemicals are released out of the cell. The prefix exo means exiting out of. In this process, vesicles formed inside the cell export chemicals out into the ECF. The internal vesicle fuses with the cell membrane, which opens up a pore that allows the chemicals to be released into the ECF. There are many examples of exocytosis in cells. Secretory cells produce secretory vesicles that release chemical secretions such as hormones, mucus, or digestive enzymes out of cells and into the ECF ducts or organ lumens. Nerve cells also carry out exocytosis when they release neurotransmitters, chemicals used to communicate information between nerve cells. Some cells also release their wastes through exocytosis. Transcytosis is another vesicular transport process where chemicals are brought into a cell through endocytosis, transported across the cell in vesicles, the prefix trans means across or through, and then are released out of the cell through exocytosis. Transcytosis summarizes the whole journey of a chemical as it passes through a cell. Endothelial cells are good examples of cells that carry out lots of transcytosis. These are the thin epithelial cells that line blood vessels and allow larger chemicals, such as antibodies, to cross the cell membrane as they're moving between the blood plasma and interstitial fluid. 